Hi and welcome, Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be talking about how to set up this brand new TP-Link router. The model of this is ER7206. In this video, I won't be talking about the VPN, but if you're interested to learn how to set up the VPN, please hit the like and subscribe button. In the near future, I'll be making a video on how to set up the VPN. But as if for now, this video here is just strictly on how to configure and do the basic installation on setting up the WAN and the LAN. All right, so let's talk about the WAN. So if you have the internet provider, the internet service that you pay for your monthly service, the internet uh, is called the internet service provider. You need to plug this cable into the WAN port, which is the WAN 1. All right, as you plug it in, you can see that the WAN light is on. Now, here I have the another cable, and this cable is it's for PC, meaning it's connected to my computer, and you want to connect it directly to port number four, or LAN port. This router here, able to get you to a dual LAN, meaning you can have LAN one and secondary LAN, uh, but I do not have a secondary LAN here, so I'll leave this one blank. I'm just connecting one from my internet provider, and the second cable would go directly to my PC. All right, so once you have this being connected, let's go ahead and bring you to another page, the computer page where we can do the setup, uh, the configuration. All right, so here I have the Firefox open up, and what you want to do is at the bottom right corner here you can see the internet right click on that internet icon open network and internet settings at this point here you want to click on the properties and in properties you want to take a look here it says 192.168.0.1 that is the IP address to get into your router okay so here I have my browser open up and the next thing I need to do is type in 192.168.1. Sorry, dot .0 All right, at this TP-Link router, it would ask you to type in your username. I'll be typing it as admin, and the password. You're going to give it a password. All right, and then click confirm. So you want to type in a password for yourself and then the username would be admin. So my username I made it is admin and password, you just put it in. Here you can see the entire dashboard of your TP-Link router. All right, the first thing I like to talk about is the network and go to when majority of the time is you would be having the WAN port selected, meaning the WAN here is selected, but if you have the S SFP WAN, uh, then you can plug into that, which is the first connector right here. Um, have this little plastic cover, you need to remove it and insert the SFP WAN. It's kind of all depending on your internet provider to see if they provide you with the fiber into the router. Now if you click on WAN here, uh, here you can see that it's called dynamic IP or static IP. That is the two most common thing that you would be using. Now you need to kind of find out from your internet provider if it's a residential, 99% is going to run on dynamic IP. But if you're in a commercial site, there might be a chance that the provider would give you a static IP. So if you have a static IP, you need to select the static and put in the number that is provided by the provider. Okay, now I do not have a static IP in my case. My one is a dynamic IP. I'll leave it blank as this. All right, so simple as that. The next part I need to do is to talk about the WAN. Here, WAN, you can see that the WAN is um, the IP address starts from 0 0.1 and it goes all the way um, to I think it's 254 if I'm not mistaken 
here it will list you the um, client list the computer that is being plugged in so I have my desktop plugged in and if you have other computers or the security camera you would name it will show in this client's name all right so for the when uh, we can click on operation let's take a look here the IP address start from 0 0.1 the subnet as is 255 and the status is unable all right so I apologize the IP address the starting IP is 0 0.100 and it goes all the way to 0 0.199 all right but if you want to have more computers you can turn this thing down to starting point is 2 and it can goes all the way to 254 if you prefer and click OK all right so now I have more devices the range of IP open up from 2 to 254 Remember the one is actually reserved for your router. All right, so we talk about the when, and let's talk about, um, let's see what else do they have here. We can talk about the VPN thing, or talk about it some other time. Uh, let's talk about firewall, behavior control, VPN, authentication services, system tool. We do not need any of that. VLAN. Um, hmm, maybe not. Not this time. Let's talk about transmissions. Okay. Under transmission, you would have the uh, net. We what we want to do is talk about virtual server and you can actually what we want to do is you want to do port forwarding so virtual servers uh, it also meaning that port forward so let's just say you want to do an RDP and interface for this would be WAN because WAN is the port that we are using to port forward and what is the port forward for RDP 3389 okay so that is for remote access 3389 and the internal server IP would be 192.168.0. Dot. My computer is I believe here is 149. Yep, so it's 149. So 149 protocol is it a TCP or UDP if you're not sure you can select all I think the remote is TCP or maybe it's UDP I for click OK so pretty much the RDP is open up for port uh, 3389 and this is the IP address of the device and protocol is UDP that is pretty much the port forwarding for this router all right so um, very straightforward again this um, router here only allows you to do the um, hardwired sorry hardwired into the network uh, it does not have any um, capable of Wi-Fi all right so again uh, in the next video also I will be doing the VPN in this TP-Link router if you're interested please uh, subscribe to the channel and comment below that you're interested to watch and I'll be making this sort of network uh, video in more in the near future thanks for watching until next time bye now